We at FootTrading.co.uk are giving away an Xbox Series S in time for Christmas as a way to say thank you for all the insane support you guys have given us on the site in the last nine months since we launched. It's been an awesome journey. It's been hard work. It's been tears. It's been happiness. Um, but yeah, you guys have been unreal. So we wanted a way to say thank you as we decided to get an Xbox Series S and give it away completely free to one lucky site subscriber. So if you've ever debated joining the website, now is the time to do it. Um, especially now, because we just launched our Xbox and PS4 fluctuation tracker. What this does is automatically track the price at the low end and high end for certain cards and tells you when to buy in when they're at the lowest and sell when they're at the highest. It went live yesterday. We've got people that are already making 20 to 30,000 coins per card on certain cards on the market. It's updated regularly. It's an un like unbelievably insane tool. It's taken a lot of work to get to where it is now. Um, but yeah, it's a brand new feature launched. So make sure you check out FootTrading.co.uk for your chance to win an Xbox Series S for Christmas. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. Merry Christmas! This video is going live Christmas Eve into Christmas Day night, midnight. So it is technically Christmas Day here in the UK. So Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you have an amazing day today. Um, I know some of you already like Australia that you guys watch these videos at this time. I know for you guys, it is already Christmas Day, so I hope you're having a brilliant one. But yeah, six more days after 2020, and then we can hopefully look forward to a better 2021. Uh, but the Midnight Upload, uh, you guys have been loving them. It's more player picks. Um, so far, they've been very, 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 very bad at first, and they got good, but I still maintain the 81 pluses are the best upgrades on this game. I'm hoping these 25 picks now will change my mind. I doubt it, but you never do know. Make sure you check out foottrading.co.uk. If you guys are getting, obviously, money for Christmas and things like that, and you're debating spending it on FIFA points, do not do it. It is not worth your money. Subscribe to Foot Trading instead. Literally £10 a month will make you millions of coins, and you get entered into a giveaway this month for an Xbox Series S. Check me out on Twitch. I live stream. Obviously, for the next couple of days, I will not be live. I'll be taking time off with my family. If 2020 has shown us anything, it's that family is vitally important. Um, but yeah, and then join the Discord as well, down below. We've got, I think, 1,700 people in there now. It's utterly, utterly insane. But we do have 25 player picks to open up here. Um, I'm hoping we can get something good from them. I'm not sure we will get something good for them, but I'm hoping we will. So we'll start off with the first pick. And this is what I expect, <laughs> realistically. This is what I expect from these picks. People keep telling me they're OP. I, I did have one good opening with them. But outside of that, I think they've been bang average so far. We do get an inform. So again, we'll, we'll take it at face value being worth 10k. Um, how many, how many uh, sort of teams need a team where you can get an 81 rated Romanian... Uh, league should set them into, I don't know, but hey ho. Next pick. I'm going to take Fabinho here. Um, I know he's an inform, but Fabinho's worth far more. 87 rated, that's very, very good. These these picks cost me about 4k each to do. Um, but I used a lot of stuff that was in the club um, on this account. It's different accounts from my normal account. Next pick. We'll go with Halstenberg. I think it's number 5. So we are 20% of the way through. We'll go for Valverde, not Milik. So far, so good, I'd say. They're not, they're not too bad at all. I, just, I would love to get a, spe like a special card from a promo on these. I keep seeing people get ridiculous special cards. Uh, we're going to go for Felipe here. I don't know if he's really tradable, but we'll find out in a minute. Next pick after that, Ricardo Pereira. <laughs> Every time I slag these things off, they end up being really good. Uh, very, very solid so far. Fabinho, Pereira, and an inform is not bad at all. I think this is pick number 7 or 8. I can't remember exactly which, which number it is. Um... I'm going to go in Dombele here, just because his Premier League, Maslera at 82 rate is higher, but the Premier League is a much better pick. Go to Sherwell for the highest rating. And this is the thing I find with these, they're very, very hit and miss. They either do brilliantly or terribly. We'll go with Rui Patricia, another 84. I think the total cost of putting these together is something in the region of about 100k-ish. So we're not doing too bad in terms of money back from them so far. I'm going to go for the Libertadores card. Why not? Mr. Fernandez. Coop Miners. We, already, we got him as option over one. It's another inform. So, I mean, if you're looking at... I don't know here. Rui Patricia, I think, has got like 4 or 5k value. 10k from that Coop Miners. I don't know what Fabinho sells for. He's like 30k. So, what? 10, 40. Pereira's currently... I put like, what? 13. So, 53. Valverde... It's like 3k. I mean, we've already got 70k back of the value from it so far, which ain't, which ain't bad at all, because we're not even halfway through yet. Next pick. We're going to go for Nacho Monreal, because we've already got Talisca. 
So halfway through, it's been good so far. I'm going to work my way back this time on them. I don't know what I, th I try and work out what I think about these ones. The reason I do like them is you get to choose the player you get. But again, there's a lot of pointless stuff that goes in here. Although the 81s, you could argue, does the exact same thing, realistically. The 81s, you could argue, you don't get a choice at all either. And you do get a lot of pointless stuff as well. Go Daily Blin, because he's the highest rated. He was quite high the other day. I don't think he's high anymore. Yeah, like a thousand coins on him. And that's the thing. If you're not getting an 83 or 84 from these, you're definitely not getting your coins back. From each of them. We'll go Mandanda. Eighty-six Hummels is a really nice one. I think at this point we're getting close to having our, our money back, basically. We'll see, 28k I reckon, give or take. Let me just check, actually. I want to get an accurate price on this so I can see whether it is worth it or not. Hummels is currently going for... 29,000 coins. And Fabinho... Currently going for... 30,000 coins, exactly. So, I mean, from those two alone, you've got nearly 60,000 coins of value, which is not bad at all. Alex Tellez as well. What's he going for these days? It's all good follow either way. 7,000 coins on him. Haaland, he's already got, but we'll just put him there for now as a dupe. I'm assuming he's not tradable, because otherwise he would have been used by now, but that's, that's still fine. Still good. Next pick. 88 Hazard. I mean, these have been pretty fire. I'm not going to lie to you. Walkouts of days. I don't know what Hazard is at the moment either, but... 38,000 coins from Hazard. I mean, I think we're in profit, without a doubt. So the final six picks, and so far we've had three walkouts, an 85, two 84s, three 84s, two team of the weeks, no, three eight, four 84s, two team of the weeks, I mean, yeah, we've, yeah, I'm, I should probably stop complaining about these packs, picks, I think they're actually pretty damn decent. we we'll go Trap, all those that have got him, he's a duplicate 83, which isn't too bad. So five picks left, can we get one more walkout, imagine. We can get another walkout. Jesus Christ. I just want to check how much Sterling's going for. So that's another 40,000 coins on Sterling. Which is ridiculous. I mean, I'm, I may have completely changed my mind on these. I'm not going to lie. I think I've changed my mind on them completely. Uh, Bergwin. So three picks left. And I want to give a rough estimate of what we've made from the spend on these packs. I'm going to go Paulinho again. I know it's a dupe, but why not? So the last two picks, we'll go Ginter. And then the last pick's going to be 380 80 pick per 8 players because it always, always ends on, on a terrible note. 89 Courtois. Oh my goodness me. These things are ridiculous. I know, I've seen people getting like Neymar and Mbappe and stuff like that. 47,000 coins on that Courtois. So 47,000 coins on Courtois. Fabinho, I think we said it was 30, yeah, it was 30 for Fabinho, so that's, and say 30 for Hummels when he eventually sold, so that's, so you look at 107,000 coins there alone, Sterling was 40,000 coins, 147,000 coins, Hazard was 40,000 coins, if I'm not wrong, so 180,000 coins, two team of the weeks, let me just quickly check what Hazard is actually going for to reaffirm that, if I could spell his name properly, that would probably be a start, Aiden Hazard, yeah, about 40,000 when he's at his high, Ricardo Pereira, Tellers and Patricio is like another 20. We've probably got like 250,000 coins worth of players from what is literally a 100,000 coin spend, maybe just slightly over that. That is utterly, utterly ridiculous. That is fodder for days. I may have changed my mind on these, properly changed my mind on them. I've still been doing 81s on the League SPC to glory, but I feel like that may now change. I feel like I should probably start doing the um, player picks instead. They are cheaper to do. They are easier to do. And what I might try and start doing if I can is stacking them up. The problem with the player picks on the League SPC method is that I can't open up packs unless I open up the picks at a time. And I'm superstitious and I honestly think that the more picks you got, the better the hit rate. But that is one, two, three, four, five walkouts and 25 picks. A hit rate of 20%. That is utterly insane. But that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas day. Look out for the 9.30 video today. There's going to be giveaways as part of that video. My way of giving back to you guys for Christmas. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.